These are up one to nothing against uh, King Felix, but we had the bases loaded and didn't score against them, so that'll come back to haunt us. We're in Fort Jones, California, in Siskiyou County still. I don't know a lot about this place. I've only been here one other time, and that was on the film from four years ago. But there's some old buildings here to take pictures of, and... There's always taking pictures of the beauty of the boss. So there you go. Well... And there's my beauty too, but, but that goes without saying. So we're going to take some stills and we'll press on to Etna. Here's the other side of the street in Fort Jones. Founded in 1860, I learned uh, on a plaque on the bank building or right in front of us next to the mural. It's 98 degrees according to the bank sign. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm stopping here too because I see a guy has Washington State plates on his KLR and I used to have one of these. It was such a fun bike to ride. I really loved it and it got stolen out of the garage in Stockton and I had just dropped a comprehensive insurance on it and well it happens. But if I, I'd, lo I'd, I'd love to ride one of these again. They're just so much f fun. Bunch of Billy Bikers were just here drinking in the, in the tavern and then they went riding off towards Etna. So I don't understand the drinking and the... The drinking and the riding. That, Riding is so dangerous in itself. I'm, I'm partially it's skill and partially it's a little a little luck that I never really got hurt riding in all the years I've been riding. So, um, I don't know why you drink and ride. I don't I don't know why you drink and drive. Anyway, um, we're gonna press on the end. It's a little warm. I'm starting to run out of steam. You've heard that on this a part of the journey. I'm going to a doctor on Wednesday. I'm taking an uh, echocardiogram on Tuesday. It is Saturday, the 4th of July, and we will see what's next. Our next stop finds us in Etna, California, still in Siskiyou County. Here's a, a nice looking house we're going to go take a still or two of. See how green everything is, except the dead grass, I guess. There's a working phone booth in downtown Etna, and local calls are free. This is the Siskiyou Telephone Company, not Pack Bell or Pack Fudge or whatever the hell that they call themselves now, but here you have it. And right across the street is City Hall and the Scotts Valley Lodge. I don't know what the K of P is. Knights of Pythias, I think. Number 229, you see the Edna Police on the right. Joshua E. Short is the Chief of Police. And then Edna City Hall is on the left. The, the deli is closing up shop at the end of the month. It's really too bad that these little towns die out. After a rather inauspicious start, we are we found ourselves driving for a couple of hours, and we're at the rest stop between uh, uh, just outside between Red Bluff, between Red Bluff and uh, Redding on Interstate 5 in uh, Tehama County, California. And look who pulls up to us next to us at the rest stop. 
but the retired Greyhound people. Now you know I would love to take one right this very exact second because I love Greyhounds. I think they are magnificent animals. And everything I've read and everybody I've ever talked to about Greyhounds says that they are just outstanding, outstanding pets. Sadly, I'm allergic to them. I can only have a poodle or a non-dander dog. So, but I love poodles, and you know that. So here's our little view at the rest stop. They didn't, the office was closed at our ranch, so I couldn't buy any ice. There was, their uh, dump was kind of a, a slow drainer, so I made a pee and a poo mess everywhere, and we had to hose ourselves down and clean it up, and, and only then does the guy from the ranch come up and say, oh, that one drains slow, you used to clean out the clean out uh, um, um, hole. It's like, well, gee, thanks, you couldn't tell us any sooner. So we had a little bit of a mess, and then, uh, there was a big long line at the gas station in in uh, in Weed, so I had to wait for two people to get into the RV lane. The bright spot was that their pump in the RV lane um, shut off at four hundred ninety-five dollars, and I only took about ninety-eight dollars, so it worked out for the best. So here's our three sixty. There's my beautiful wife and my wonderful dog. She has herself resupplied. I'm gonna take some stills. We, we have a 300 mile day today. We haven't had one in a while, so we're gonna press on here, but we had a scrumptious breakfast and a corn dog. And you know, I love corn dogs, right boss? Corn dog. corn dog. So here you have it, and we'll see what's next.